What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today's video will be very very special. I don't want to do any cut cutoffs or anything like the intro part and all of that stuff. None of this is gonna happen. The only thing I'll be doing is just I will go straight to the charts and I will give you the update on my trading. How was my trading for the past three months? Actually two months because January I was still in the backtesting part of my trading and I'm still back testing but I started live uh, beginning of February. So let's go to the charts, not actually the chart, let's go to the sheet, my Excel spreadsheet that I'm using for the journaling of my trades and I'll, let me show you what I'll be, what I was going through and I will tell you how was I feeling, what's the whole point of it and what are my thoughts going forward, okay? So let's go. Ha! <laughs> Here we are, in front of me I have my entire system. So I'm supposed to be winning 56% of time. I should be netting around 8,500 pips over the time period of what, uh, six years or so? Well, and my profit factor should be, be 1.7, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, this is my backtesting data. Now I'm, show, I'm gonna show you my trade lock what's actually been happening for the past three months, okay? And I'm, I'm, am I above my, you know, average return or below the return? So let's go. Uh, money management, no. Backtesting tune-up, no. Trade lock, there we go. So, in total, we took how many trades? 20 trades in total. Our profit factor is 1.4. Our win-loss percentage is 63%, so slightly above, I think, of the backtested, yeah. So few percent above the backtested uh, results and I made a single mistake and overall I'm up, what, 147 pips. That's the precise number. So how is it like? Well, first of all, for I've been struggling for two years. Most of you know, know that already. Uh, so winning and being up positive in my first two months of trading, even though it's small amount of pips, it's very, very cool. And uh, it's not been easy, you know, sometimes it's very frustrating and I, I didn't know it's, it's that, that much frustrating to be honest. I thought uh, my equity curve is just going to go up, up, up and up, even though I was, you know, I heard a lot, a lot of people speaking and I'm, I'm one of those uh, advocates right now that's been telling you, equity curve is just like in, in Forex market, like just like in any trend, it goes up and goes down, it goes up and it goes down. And our goal is to for those pullbacks that when the market is going down, where the equity curve is going down, to be as small as possible. So that means having a proper risk management settings in place. And I do, I do have a proper risk management in place, but for the past two months, I took 20 trades, so it's 40 trading days or so. And that means every other day I had a trade. So that's like, I like that part of trading, to be honest. When I was first starting out, I was thinking that I want um, constant action, eight hours per day, I want to be clicking here, checking those charts up and uh, making those trading decisions. However, I found find out that um, no, I just want to be there when, you know, when I need to be. I don't want to sit and uh, waste my time in front of the charts. I just want to sit back, relax, wait for the, my rules to be met and then hit, take the action, pull that trigger, hit, hit a mouse button and make some money. That's the whole point of trading, I think. And yeah, so it's been frustra frustrating sometimes. Sometimes you wonder, should I be doing something more or this is good enough or, you know, because you're just waiting for the opportunity to come along. And sometimes there goes an entire week and I just took one trade. One trade, luckily it was a winning trade. Sometimes when you get a few losers in a row, then you think, did you do something wrong? But no, <laughs> you just need to follow your backtesting back testing plan. So it's important to be part of the quality community as well, where people just like you are trying to build that trading experience and move forward uh, because they encourage you a lot. Like for example, I was speaking with my training mentors Kudos, Akil, kudos, Jason, and they, they, they kept telling me that's a normal thing, right? They had like, Akil had like two trades for this past week, so I guess I'm doing fine. However, his returns are much bigger because he's trading bigger strategy, um, more strategies on a bigger payer portfolio. I'm just getting there yet, I'm not there yet. I'm just, I'll be adding starting, uh, uh, I think, uh, yeah, starting what? Next quarter, quarter two, I'll be adding uh, ciphers on three or four of my pairs. 
and now I'm starting to backtest the trade, uh, trend trading strategy. So I think that they will improve my returns over the long run and we will definitely see. So that's a small update on everything I've been doing. I hope you like it. And yeah, share share what do you think about it? Share what do you how how how's your trading this year? How's your trading in the quarter one? Uh, do you have any significant results? Did you learn anything new about yourself about your trading strategies? Are you keep do you keep improving them? Uh, did you learn just about anything? Do you do you agree with me? Do you think this is a good result or this is a bad result? And yeah, click the also, don't forget to click that like button, uh, click the subscribe button if you're new to this channel and smash the, what, what did I say, a bell button? Smash the bell button as well. Share the video so that we can help as many people as possible. And that's it. That's the end of my small quarter one update. Hope you liked it and see you soon in the another video. Thank you and bye bye.